video is for Adam Steer and everybody over at bodyweightcoach.com. And today I want to teach you a simple progression that you can use to work up to doing a perfect hanging leg raise. And the hanging leg raise is one of the best exercises you can do to build super strong abdominal muscles that look as good as they perform. So I'm going to take you on over to the progression where I'm going to teach you the most basic exercises all the way up to the exercises that you can do right before being able to do a full strict hanging leg raise. Let's take you on over to exercise number one. All right, you guys, this is exercise number one. This is the first step in a series of progressive exercises you can use to work up to that coveted hanging leg raise. This is a great place to start if you're a complete beginner, and it's also a great place to start if you're an intermediate or advanced athlete just to make sure that you have core control necessary to do the hanging leg raise. So start on your back with your palms toward the sky and your shoulder blades tucked back and down, all right? From there, at a 90 degree angle of the knees, what you're gonna do is just hinge at the hips, tap your heels, and come off the ground. Now, one of the most important things you want to remember here is keeping your lower back in contact with the ground. If you come down and you see this big arch come up like that, that means you're not using your stomach muscles anymore. You're not using your deep inner unit core muscles to stabilize your pelvis and your stomach. So make sure to tuck your pelvis, press your lower back into the ground, and then keeping your palms toward the sky, shoulders fall back, heels to the ground, and back up. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna work on this exercise two or three days a week after your regular workouts, and you're gonna do that exercise for three sets of 10 reps. Once you can do three sets of 10 reps on that basic exercise, then it's time to move on to exercise number two. All right, you guys, this is exercise number two, and once you get to the point where you can do that exercise number one for three sets of 10 reps, then it's time to work on this exercise number two. And this is very similar to the very first exercise I just showed you, but it's slightly more challenging. So again, start on your back, this time with your palms towards the sky, shoulders pulled back, and your legs straight. So the difference is we're going from a bent knee position to a straight leg position. And exactly the same as we did before, lower your heels down to the ground, keeping your lower back flat against the ground, and then come back up. And at first, if you can't bring your heels all the way down, it's okay to come a little bit higher. But don't progress on to exercise number three until you're able to come almost all the way down to the ground and back up while keeping that lower back in contact with the ground. So one more time, it's just heels down, back up, right? Keeping everything tight. You wanna make sure that this stays tight because this is the foundation of what you need to have in order to build awesome looking abs that look as good as they perform. Let's take you on over to exercise number three. Once you're able to do three sets of 10 reps on this exercise number two, then move on to this third exercise. All right, you guys, this is exercise number three. And once you guys are able to do that simple line leg raise with straight legs in exercise number two for three sets of 10 reps, then it's time to work on this exercise. So you're gonna need a kettlebell, a dumbbell, a weight plate, something that you can hold in your hands for this exercise because this is gonna teach you how to activate your upper body while you're doing the lying leg raise, okay? So start on your back, just like we've done on each of the other leg raises, but this time you're gonna have a kettlebell or dumbbell and you're gonna hold it up straight in front of your face, okay? Press your lower back into the ground, come down and back up. Now, we wanna work up to three sets of 10 reps like this, but I don't want you to progress on to exercise number four until you're able to do three sets of 10 reps while holding a kettlebell right above the ground. So you should be about anywhere between six and 10 inches above the ground, down and back up. And you're gonna feel your lats working hard. You're gonna feel everything working extra hard as you do this exercise. Easily one of my favorite abdominal exercises. A good weight to work with is about 20 to 30 pounds for men, about 10 to 20 pounds for women. And once you can get three sets of 10 reps, in this exercise, then it's time to move on to the next series of progressions where we're gonna work you towards that coveted hanging leg raise in exercise number four. All right, you guys have made it to exercise number four. Please be sure that you've got 10 reps, three sets on exercise number three, holding about a 20 to 30 pound weight for men or a 10 to 20 pound weight overhead for women. And make sure that's really strong and perfect before moving on to the bar progressions that we're gonna work, we're gonna use right now to work you up to doing a hanging 
leg raise. So you're going to need a pull-up bar, a pair of rings, a plank, a towel thrown under a tree branch, anything you can use to hang from, that's what you're going to need to work up for the hanging leg raise. And the first exercise you need to do is just a simple hanging knee tuck, but there's some details to cover that you need to know to make sure you build the strength necessary to be able to do the full hanging leg raise. So come up on a bar, and what you're going to do first is you're going to learn how to pack your shoulders. So if you're doing hanging leg raises or knee raises and your arms are relaxed and your shoulders are down like this, not only could you potentially injure your shoulder, but you're deactivating the muscles on the armpits coming through into the core, just like we worked on with that kettlebell overhead, keeping everything tight and activating that upper body. So we want to suck, suck our shoulders down into the sockets. We want to imagine pulling our hands forward and down like we're doing a front lever pull or a pullover, but keeping your elbows straight. So let me show you the crack position here. Grab the bar, suck the shoulders down, pull the hands down a little bit so we get in that nice tight arch position. And then the first exercise is just a knee raise, okay? So suck the shoulders down and just knees come up as high as you can and back down under control. And you're going to do the same thing you did on all the other exercises. Repeat that for three sets of 10 reps. Once you're able to do three sets of 10 reps, then move on to exercise number five. You're almost there all the way to the hanging leg raise. Alright you guys, this is exercise number five and you're just a few short steps away from being able to do your full hanging leg raise. Now this exercise is called knees to elbows and what this does is this teaches your body to activate the upper body pull in addition to the lower body pull. And so all the setup moves are the same as the previous exercise. We're going to pack your shoulders, pull your hands down. The only difference is at the top position, you're going to really try to bring your elbows towards your knees, keeping your arms straight. So here's what this exercise looks like. Grab onto the bar, same setup, suck the shoulder blades down in the sockets, right? And knees come up, hands come down, knees come to elbows, right? Down, back up, knees to elbows, every single rhythm. You're going to feel a lot more upper body work in this one. It's going to build massive amounts of strength that's going to prepare you for the hanging leg raise. Again, three sets of 10 reps. Once you're able to do that with good form, then it's time to move on to exercise number six, where you're just one step away from the hanging leg raise. Alright you guys, this is exercise number six, and this is one step away from getting to your full hanging leg raise. Now all the setup moves for this are the same as the previous two exercises, packing the shoulders, pulling your hands down. The only difference is we're going to extend our legs and try to bring our toes to the bar. This is called a toes to the bar. So grab onto the bar here, and try to keep your legs as straight as possible. They don't have to be perfectly straight, it can be a little bit bent. You're going to bring your toes all the way to the bar. So it's almost like a knees to elbows with a leg extension at the top. So it looks like this. Shoulder blades down, right? Bent legs, come back up, and back down. It's almost like you look like a little monkey trying to hang your feet over the bar. So repeat that, just like all the other exercises. Once you get three sets of ten reps, it's time to go for your first strict hanging leg raise. Let's take it on over to exercise number seven. Finally, the hanging leg raise. Alright you guys, this is exercise number seven and you've made it all the way to the strict hanging leg raise. This is a very underestimated exercise because it's very challenging when you do everything properly and when you do it under control. And it's one of the best ways to build six pack abs that look great and perform even better. So the setup for this is the same as the previous three exercises with the shoulders packed, the hands coming down. The only difference is you're going to fire your quad muscles. So you're going to think about squeezing your quad muscles the whole time as you go through this exercise. And another thing is when you're first starting out, you can use just a hair of momentum, but eventually we want to get to the point where you can do three sets of 10 reps with perfect form and stop and pause at any position you want. That's going to show you've built tons of core control that you can use in your real life. So here's what the strict hanging leg raise looks like. Grab the bar, suck the shoulders in, fire the quad muscles, everything gets tight, keep your eyes facing straight forward, pull, toes to bar, back down. Pull, toes to bar, back down. And you can repeat this exercise for three sets of 10 reps. Once you can get three sets of 10 reps, not only are you going to have super strong abs that look great and perform even better, but you're going to be ready for more complicated exercises like front lever progressions and so on and so forth. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, the seven steps to the hanging leg raise. And these are simple steps that you guys can use. Once you can do three sets of 10 reps of one exercise, all you got to do is go to the next exercise. This will give you a lot of time to progress from something simple all the way to something more advanced. And if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment in the links below. Otherwise, if you want to check out my complete abdominal training program, 
Click the link below and check out Warrior Abs, where I take you through 11 different progressions from super basic exercises to exercises significantly more complex than the ones I just showed you. Thanks so much for watching, and good luck on your abdominal training.